and welcome to Inkestrial Residential Art Centre's Facebook page and the man who knows everything. That is me, I am he. So um, what the man who knows everything is, it's an interactive learning tool and basically every day I come on here at one o'clock every weekday I give you 10 facts about a subject and then I also give you a topic to do some research about for the next day. And then when I give my 10 facts, if you've got them facts at home, you can cross them off your list. And at the end of it, if you've got a fact that I don't give, then it technically means that you've beaten the man who knows everything. However, as I always say, there ain't no fact that I don't know, it's just a fact that I don't say. So, on Friday, I gave you the topic of Star Wars because today is Star Wars Day. And the reason it's called Star Wars Day is because it's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Aye. So, on Star Wars Day, what better topic to have than Star Wars? So, here are my 10 facts about Star Wars. Um, I did say that it can't be anything about the storyline or anything like that. It's got to be to do with how the films are made, some facts about that kind of stuff. Also, don't forget to like and share these videos um, because the more people that view them, the better. So, fact number one is that the first film, oh, yeah, Polly, how are you? How are you? You're right. Um, the first Star Wars film, A New Hope, was made in 1977 by 20th Century Fox, and they, they think that it was going to do very well in the box office. So, they only gave it a small budget of $11 million, which does sound like a lot. Um, but um, they're still able to make a film from it. And by contrast, if you take 2015 Star Wars The Force Awakens, that was made at a cost of around about $300 million. So it's quite a big difference from the first film at $11 million to The Force Awakens at $300 million. Because as I said, when it first came out, that I think it were going to do very well. So they didn't want to put loads of money into it. $11 million is a lot of money, but when it comes to making films, take a lot of budget. So that was fact number one. Fact number two is that in the original drafts, Luke Skywalker was gonna be a woman. Because in the creative process, you go through loads of different drafts. You write your first version, then you go through edits and rewrites, and eventually you come up with the finished product. And so in those early stages of the film's development, Luke Skywalker was gonna be a woman called Star Killer. True fact. And then later on, the character was changed to male and it was going to be called Luke Star Killer. But they thought that it sounded a bit too harsh. And so they changed his name to Luke Skywalker. True. So that was fact number two. Originally, Luke Skywalker was supposed to be a woman, but they changed his name and changed the gender to become a man called Luke Skywalker rather than Luke Star Killer. Fact number three is about the creative process and how people can get inspired from all sorts of different things. And George Lucas, as the person behind all of the Star Wars films, he was inspired to create Chewbacca by his dog. I know, crazy. So he came up with the idea of a fur, of um, a furry kind of sidekick um, from his Alaskan Malamute dog. Uh, that was the inspiration behind Chewbacca and he said that um, he used to ride in the front seat of his car, his dog, and his dog was called Indiana, after, after uh, probably after Indiana Jones. So Indiana, the dog, used to ride in the front seat of his car and it gave him the inspiration that Han Solo should have Chewbacca next to him in the front seat as well. So inspiration can come from all sorts of places. Fact number four, and this is probably connected to fact number one, the fact that I, they had such a small budget. In the um, first Star Wars film, in the distance, you can see loads of different stars, loads of distant asteroids. And people who've made the film have actually revealed that some of the asteroids in the background are actually spray painted potatoes. I know, spray, paint, spray painted potatoes difficult to say spray painted potatoes in the background and we've painted to make look like uh, asteroids but if you've got a very small budget you've got to use what you can here yeah? so if you look really carefully you can see spray painted potatoes in the background of the first star wars film fact number five is all about the sound design and again how inspiration can come from all sorts of different places and it's been revealed that the sound that the tie fighters make when they zoom past is actually the sound of an elephant trumpeting that's been 
manipulated. So they took that sound of an elephant and they might have slowed it down, they might have reversed it, they might have sped it up, they might have flipped it, but they manipulated that sound to make the sound that the TIE fighters make as they fly past the TIE fighters engine. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Jane. Welcome. Um, and that was fact number five. So, um, yeah, the TIE fighters sound effect is actually an elephant. Fact number six is about some of the most recent Star Wars films, and that is one of the props, uh, a device that is used both by Qui-Gon uh, Jinn and um, Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi in 1999's The Phantom Menace, is actually made from a women's razor. So the Gillette Ladies Sensor Excel razor was um, served as the communication device, the base of it. I know. So you've got spuds, spray painted spuds to make it look like asteroids in the first one. And then in the Phantom Menace, they use the base of a lady's razor for a communication device for Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi. So look really closely. So just like we've been showing you different things about what you can use around the elm to make into different things, we've been turning toilet rolls into elves and all sorts of stuff. They do that in films as well. So that was fact number six. Fact number seven is the fact that because Star Wars was such a huge thing and there was a massive interest when The Phantom Menace was coming out in 1999, people actually paid to go and see the trailer because they didn't really release it on the internet. The only place you could see it was in the cinemas. So people would buy a cinema ticket for any random film so that they could watch The Phantom Menace trailer. And then once the trailer for The Phantom Menace was finished, they'd go. So they paid a full cinema ticket price just for the sake of two minutes worth of footage so they could get a little glimpse of the latest Star Wars film. So it's been such a huge phenomenon. Fact number eight is the fact that Yoda, the character of Yoda, was originally going to be played by a monkey. I know. Hard to believe, eh? But it's true. They were training a monkey to move through the set. He was going to be in an outfit and they even trained him to hold a little cane. So they trained the monkey up to play the character of Yoda, but I think they decided against it in the end, unless there is a monkey inside that Yoda costume. But I don't think there is, it's a person. Well, I don't think this person's animatronic, eh? So that was fact number eight. Yoda was going to be played by a monkey. Fact number nine is about um, a kind of insider joke in the Star Wars films. So very often, if you're making a long series of films, you start to put little things in for yourself as a little inside joke. And in every single Star Wars film, there is the line, I have a bad feeling about this, or a variation thereof. Somebody might say, I have a very bad feeling about this. So in every single Star Wars film, the line, I have a bad feeling about this, appears somewhere in the film. So maybe when you watch them, I would keep an ear out because it's in every single Star Wars film. I have a bad feeling about this. I've got a very bad feeling about this. I've got a bad feeling about it. So listen out for it. And finally, fact number 10, because fact number nine was about something that's said in every film, fact number 10 is about a line that is never said in one of the films. So <clears throat> Rogue One is the only Star Wars film where nobody says the word Skywalker. It ain't mentioned in the film whatsoever. So in all the other Star Wars films, the word stop Skywalker passes the lips of one of the actors, but not in Rogue One. So fact number nine was about, I've got a bad feeling about this, is said in every single film. Fact number 10, Skywalker is not said at all in Rogue One. And those are my 10 facts. So if you've got a Star Wars fact that I don't mention, get an adult to help you post it in the comments below. And if you've got a topic that you want to challenge a man who knows everything on, stick that in the comments as well. If you're watching on YouTube, you're going to have to head over to our Facebook page. Um, there's a load of other resources we've been putting together for you. You can find those out on www.sandwellresidentials.co.uk forward slash at home. And um, in fact, there's going to be another art project packed released, an art project, an art project pack released today so keep an eye out for that as well so tomorrow's topic because we've been looking at star wars today on may the 4th be with you i thought it would be a good idea to have a look at the film industry so facts about filmmaking the process of filmmaking maybe the first ever speaking film the first early films black and white films um all of those different things so 10 facts about the filmmaking process and 
the film industry. And I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for more from The Man Who Knows Everything. That is me. I am he. And I'll see you tomorrow. So stay safe, stay home, stay creative. And I'll see you tomorrow. Sarah,